All right, I do want to make a comment on this First John chapter four verse one to three challenge, because there's this whole thing going on of can it be faked? Can the can the challenge be faked? Can the confession be faked? And I want to sh uh, show you why I believe that this thing cannot be faked, and show you from the scriptures and from a definition of the word hereby. And I know that um, I, I forget. I, um, I think it's divine interventionist. I think he brought this out in one of his videos, but he got he, the video got taken down for whatever reason. But uh, let me read to you First John chapter four, verses one to three. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So it's giving a test. You're supposed to try the spirits. And then um, give the test, and here's the test. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Every spirit, anyone who says it, any spirit that says it is of God. Then verse 3 and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Every spirit. Notice that. And notice how it says, hereby know ye. Okay? Well, what does hereby mean? Let me just let me show you this. Uh, hereby. Let me search up hereby in 1828, 1828 Webster's Dictionary. Hereby. By this. You know? Hereby by this, hereby we become acquainted with the nature of things, gives an example of it. So if you read this right here, it's saying, by this know ye the Spirit of God. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. It's a test. And it says, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Every spirit. There's no exceptions to that. So I, I don't believe for one second this thing can be faked. So that's my answer to this whole thing. And of course, another another verse that kind of ties into this is Second John chapter 1, verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Another test. If you don't confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, you're a deceiver and an antichrist. Then, of course, the other controversial one is, I forget where it's at exactly. I think it's, here it is. It's Second or 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3. Again, another test. And I don't believe this, I don't believe this one can be faked either. Whereby I give you to understand that no man, speaking by the Spirit of God, calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. No man can say it. So if a man can say it, what it's saying here is that you can only say it by the you can only say that Jesus Christ is the Lord by by the Holy Ghost. No man can say it, but by the Holy Ghost. So if if the Bible says no man can say it, how can it be fake then? Do you believe the Word of God or don't you? No man can say it, but by the Holy Ghost. That simple. So I don't believe this thing can be faked because I believe the word of God. Again, it says, no by, hereby know ye, you know, by this. Very, very simple. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So that's my answer. I don't believe this thing can be faked. Uh, the word of God gives a standard. It gives a test. And I, I, again, don't believe it can be faked because this is the test for Antichrist. This is the test on how to see who has the Holy Ghost. So uh, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.